Hey everybody, it's uh, Brian here from AquantLabs.net and uh, what I'm about to show you, uh, one of um, our new contacts out of uh, the Mideast uh, has informed me about the new brand spanking new MATLAB 2013B. It's like Christmas. Holy jumping, this thing is getting better and better. Let's take a look at what we got here. Now, there's some maybe questionable people out there that will wonder why am I building uh, trading models with, with, with MATLAB? I'm going to show you why uh, with some of the new features and, and there's going to be some that are going to hopefully convince you on why. First, let's get into um, the MATLAB compiler is an important um, feature that I will be using uh, once my trading platform is built. If it's not through Simulink, it's going to be through the MATLAB coder compiler and that's the underlying technology that's used to convert uh, your MATLAB M script models and co-generate it into C or C++ or HDL for FPGA. I'll show you that in a minute. So let's get on, on, on. Okay, now database toolbox is a very cool already, but this one I'll agree with, with uh, MathWorks. Fast access using ODBC, no more data source names or DSNs, and golly gee, I hope I can actually connect my SQL Server without any headaches using this new feature. Now, um, moving on to the financial toolbox, this mean absolute deviation. A lot of people don't know about, but I've known about it, and I haven't really fully looked into it, but it's there, it's now part of the MATLAB 2013B, and I'm gonna play with it. Okay, now this is the juicy one that I really caught my eye. Trading Toolbox, it came out earlier this year, where you can now natively execute all your trades through MATLAB, but guess what we got here? If you haven't read it yet, we now have support. Oh, this is so good. Support native out of the box. Interactive TWS API. That is awesome. Now, let's 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 slow down here. Let's rewind. I have played with the iKey fee, and this is the only part that really disappoints me with MATLAB is that it somewhat doesn't do it 100%. Maybe it's too slow, maybe too many ticks, I don't know. But I do know in the MATLAB it does miss and drop ticks. I will assume that there will be the same problem with Interactive Brokers, uh, TWS. I'm not saying it is or it isn't, but I just want people to realize that yes, it's there, yes, it will work, but don't bank on it. I'm still moving ahead with my trading platform. Uh, this just makes it a lot easier for developers. So, if anyone wanted to ask me what would I do and what would I suggest as a new tool to learn about trading and learn about quant, this is it. And now you can actually do your trades through what every pretty well everybody trades with interactive brokers. And now we have it with the TWS API. Thank you, MathWorks. Thank you. Thank you from the Lords. Hallelujah. Okay, now let's get into the really exciting stuff. I've, I've shown enough videos with my friend called Simulink. Now a lot of people do not, do not, do not research uh, models and build with Simulink. And I'm going to show you a video that is part of this in a minute. Uh, and that's part of the new um, uh, features of Simulink. But I think MathWorks is picking up on this uh, where a lot of the big banks, and I keep saying, I know that they're using it, they're just not talking about it but they've actually made this new Simulink editor night and day better. Um, and this is really exciting me. Um, so we've got editor enhancements. I'll show you a video in a minute. Um, and uh, some really powerful stuff moving into here. Now I've talked about HDL and I have talked about um, C++ cogeneration. So with Simulink, you can now take these models that you can develop visually and generate C or C or HDL from them. HDL is the path to your FPGA. And this is where it's going to get really cool. So um, the system toolbox design in MATLAB and Simulink, okay, so we have uh, better support for other compilers. Um, there was one little addition that I was interested in. Um, GPU support, but there were some enhancements for native, oh, native uh, Windows 64-bit uh, processing. Um, so here we go, HDL coder and the embedded coder. Now I use both actually. Um, 
The embedded coders are kind of cool ones, so you can now take and obviously um, you can integrate your C or generate your C or C++, and you can also do the same thing with HDL4 FPGA. Not, if, if you don't know FPGA, we'll just leave it at this. Hardware card for ultra lowest frequency. Let me repeat that. Ultra lowest frequency for high frequency trading. This is how you do it. This is how and the easiest way to do it. Very expensive option, but it's there. And this is the path we take. This is the path of why we use Simulink because now we can use both C, C++ and HDL and we can use the same model and bang out three languages, or pretty well four, um, from the same visual model. That is something that nobody else on the internet is doing these days on building models except me. Um, so if you hear about it, I'm, a, I'm honestly, but I, I, I do feel this is a very powerful feature. Okay, so let's start talking about this. Now, this is where it gets really exciting because you get the Xilinx Zinc. Don't ask me what that is, but I will tell you this. There's two major suppliers on the hardware store for FPGA boards, Xilinx and Altera. Now, Xilinx and Altera, there's some good webinars you can watch on this where they are now tightly integrating all their development tools into the Simulink. So you can e get, make it easier for yourself to develop models, specifically trading models for FPGA. Cool, huh? All right, so we got some better enhancements in the MATLAB coder and all this stuff. Don't ask me a lot about it um, because I haven't really played enough with it. I can generate code from it, but I haven't really tweaked it and it's very powerful what I can do. At some point I will do that, but right now I'm doing that through the embedded coder and it makes your code, your, your C and C++ really small and really efficient. Okay, um, so I talked about a video, so let's play that video. Okay, um, here I'm going to have to lower the volume here because I get really excited when I watch this. Um, so let's watch it together and hopefully I'll do the play by play as we watch it. Okay, so let's watch this video. Now this is the new Simulink editor as you can see. And this is a typical model that you get. So now you can visually move your model and send it over to your result in this demo. It makes it a little easier. It's a little hard to work with. The discovery within the editor is a lot more powerful. As you can see here. And that's what we call a new subsystem within your model. So you can get very sophisticated within your visual models. And now you can do better searching. And this is where it gets really cool for simulating like back testing. And here you can plot through your what they call a scope, and that's your output. And you get your real-time results now in the yellow here. That is very cool. And here is your state flow charts. And here again, your subsystem content. And this is a model within a model. This thing is powerful. Now this is where you can also have some really powerful ideas. If you are using with a moving average, crossing another average, boom, you can do that and track it through this editor. And we get our different outputs, again a scope. And now you can add comments into it. Very nice. Very nice. Now, you remember, you can generate C and C++ and FPGA HDL from this stuff. From what you're seeing, a visual trading model. So what are we doing here? There you go. I hope you enjoy this new video from MathWorks, the geniuses that they are. And remember, can you do this with R? And can you do this with Python? And specifically, can you generate this as fast from hand-coded C or C++ or C Sharp? Oh, and you probably got to spend two years developing your API just to get to that point. Good luck with that. Have a nice day.